Optical tweezers use tightly focused beams of laser light to trap and move microscopic objects like bacteria and cells. At this high magnification, the whole screen is only about a tenth of a millimetre across and each of the objects you see are a thousandth of a millimetre in diameter. On this microscopic scale, even the light from a laser pointer is sufficient to move an object across the whole screen in a couple of seconds. Using technology similar to that found in a projection TV, it's possible to split one laser beam into many beams, each forming their own optical trap. These are called holographic optical tweezers. Each new position of the trap requires a fresh calculation of the hologram, but using video game computers we can do this 50 times every second, easily enough to create exotic dances between many particles. Controlling optical tweezers is like trying to fly a plane. It takes some time to learn, but thankfully you are allowed to make mistakes. In one form we use an interactive joystick, where not only can the operator move the object around, but they actually get to feel the force back on their control. Feeling the force of the microscopic world in this way is very strange. Water feels like treacle, and the Brownian motion causes every particle to vibrate. As well as moving particles around in the holographic tweezers, we can use cameras to see exactly where the particles are. Using this technique, we can measure displacements of a billionth of a metre, and the smallest forces in nature, a million millionths of a metre. Working with our various collaborators, we move everything, ranging from swimming algae to T cells and microscopic tools. Holographic optical tweezers, an innovative tool for nano and biosciences.